is free. Sovereign Lord, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory. We adore you and we thank you, Lord, for helping us to exalt the praises to your throne. We submit the rest of the service into your mighty hands. Guide us and lead us. To you, praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength unto you forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray, our Father. Amen. Amen. Remain standing for responsibility. Pursuit. Today, Sunday, evening worship service, the response reading is taken from Psalms 147, page number 193. Psalms 147, page number 193. Praise the Lord, how good it is to sing praise to our God. Praise the Lord. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, he gathers the outcasts of Israel. He gives them from heart and binds up their bones. He determines the number of the stars he gave, gives to all them their names. Praise the Lord. The Lord lifted up the downtrodden, the cast the wicked to the ground. Speak to the Lord, He covers the heaven with clouds. He gives to the animals their food and to the young ravens when they cry. He has not dealt thus with any other nations. Let us all bow down and lead us in the power of something. Let's pray. Our Father, we continue to pray for the peace among Israel and Palestine work. We pray for the lives of many innocent people who are living in fear. As the Prince of Peace, bring your divine intervention in this war. We pray for the upcoming sports week. Let there be healthy competition among us and protect us from any injury. Give us your guidance throughout the week. We also pray for the students who will be taking their Sanskrit advanced Greek and Hebrew exams. Help them in their preparation to perform well in the exams. We pray for our third years who will be have their practical experience in West Bengal. Protect them throughout their journey and help them make good use of this opportunity to grow. We also pray for the students who are in need of financial assistance to pay their semester fees and their expenses. Help them in their need. We pray for our college our students, teaching and non-teaching staff, we pray for the well-being and good health of everyone. Lord, we put these intercessions in your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For this meeting, worship service, scripture has been taken from Psalm 84. Verses 1 to 4. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs indeed to fade for the God of the Lord. My heart and my flesh seem for to join to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the soul nets for herself, where she may lay her ear at your altar. O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Now I would like to invite Reverend Dr. Satsar come and take your time to share the word of God. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is coming forth. And it is a great privilege to stand before you with the word of God. At the same time, I remember my tutorial group members, those who assisted me for making this service in a beautiful manner. Last uh, few days, they were working very hard. 
and uh, so because of their cooperation, I am also standing here. And they have sung a beautiful song, and uh, yes, I appreciate uh, them. Today's passage we have already read Psalms 84, verse 1 to 4. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, indeed it faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. This evening, we are gathering in the presence of God. In order to worship and adore our Almighty God, who is worthy to receive our worship. Our God is always happy to live and receive the worship of His creation, especially the human beings. Even though He is in the midst of angels or archangels, they are worshipping Him day and night without any gap. You are holy, holy, holy. They are worshipping. But God is delighted in the worship of the human beings. Yes, we are here for worshipping of God. I believe that this evening, yes, God is very happy and looking each and every person how he or she is watching. Here the psalmist, they say that my soul longs indeed it faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. They say that okay, my heart Longing, that means especially for something unattainable. Something unattainable. So my heart longing, a great desire, a strong desire. Another way we can see that faints, falling into a state of unconscious mind. That much attachment. So here the psalmist, they say like this. Because when we read the Psalms, very familiar Psalm, Psalm 84, there the heading it is mentioned that the joy of worship in the temple. The joy of worship in the temple. And who has written there? The traditional interpretations and the traditional, so the account says that according to the details of the Korahites, so they have tuned who the sons of Korah and they became the leading worshippers, singers in the temple of Yahweh. How they became the worshippers? There is a story behind that. When we read the book of Numbers, chapter 16, there we can see their picture. Numbers chapter 16, it talks about a rebellious attitude of some of the people. Korah, the tribe of Levi, Dada, Abiram and Owen from the tribe of, tribe of uh, Reuben. They were the leading Israel people and they gathered some of the groups and uh, they rebelled against uh, Moses and Aaron. They told that Moses and Aaron, God is also with us. Don't think that God is only with you. We are also selected and appointed by God. So don't think God is only with you. 
So their rebellion went beyond their level. So Moses and Aaron, they couldn't bear. And they started to gather many people in their camp. And Moses approached the God. And what shall we do? So according to my own way, I am saying that there we can see that God called Moses and told him, yes, anyway, they are doing like this. Call the entire group of people, Israel, in front of the temple of God. And ask that Korak, Korah and Dathan, Abiram and Oon command them to take censers and to put the fire in it and they stand one side and another side you and Aaron along with others. Then we have seen that two groups, two sides and they were standing. And uh, we have seen that Moses said the people, those who are rebelling, they are dying in different way. That means the earth has opened the mouth when they fall into that gulf and die. Then God may remove them from their sight. Okay. While they were standing with the, the sensors, with the fire, God sent yes, his anger and immediately the earth opened in front of Korah, Tadan, Abiram and Oon along with the household. So people they suddenly fall into that trap, into that gap. And uh, we can see that from the Bible account, the earth was moving like, uh, yes, breaking like anything. One by one the people, they were falling into that gulf. Moses, anyway, he told like this, but as a leader of the entire camp, he ran, he ran and stood in front of that gap. That we can see that Psalms 106 verse 23. There Moses, he stood in the gap and appealed to God, God, please, please, yes, don't do. Anyway, the tradition, the story says that God stopped to break that uh, earth. Meanwhile, the sons of Korah or the youngsters, they were usually standing behind. Immediately after seeing the great uh, the incident, which they never expected, and they ran from that place. Where to hide? They understood that God is in a very angry situation. So they thought that better to reach, take an asylum in the tent of Yahweh. They entered and they have seen the marvelous sight there. That means the maybe in their previous days or years, they hesitated to go and attend the service. That's what they were saying, like, how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts? How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts? Yes, very beautiful. We never have seen. Now we are seeing and experiencing the beauty of your tent. Nowadays, we can see that many people in the world, maybe in the name, they are, okay, labeled as Christians hesitated to attend the church services. Because of various reasons, 
they are not attending. Maybe I do not know whether you are free. Okay, those who are willing to come in the service, sometimes numbers will be less. Some of the group, okay, people may attend because of fine. Okay, sometimes fine will be there. The chapel secretary, oh, uh, maybe, uh, so he may come and uh, call the name. So I have to pay some fine. Because of that, some of the people are attending. Maybe it's some boys. But the real people, those who are, yes, thinking that it is my duty. Yes, because. God loved me and because of God's love and grace and mercy, I am standing here. The people, those who are thinking, they will come and they will worship. The Western world, their churches are empty. The young says, they are not happy to go in the church. They may say that, okay, better to go some other place. They are boring. Nothing is there. The old song repeating, the preachers are preaching something, so they cannot understand and they cannot uh, be there. So many people, they are yes, keeping away themselves and uh, saying that it is monotonous. So anyway, this evening I am asking a question, why do we go to church? Or why do we attend the evening service? Because of maybe hero principal or somebody. There is a story about a person. In the West he wrote an article about the worship service. The title was Going or Attending Worship Service is a Waste. The newspapers or the company, they published it. Many people, hundreds of people, they read that article. Normally we know that the olden days, the people, they used to respond. In the social media also, in the article, maybe people may yeah, uh, accept and uh, uh, maybe positive and negative response, we can see that. The following days, some of the comments also, they published about this article. The article name, the title was Going or Attending Worship Service is a Waste. He explained, so uh, no, no need to go the worship service. And some of the people said positivity or negativity. One person supported the article and he said that, I am agreeing with the other. Going to the church is a time wasting. He wrote, the last 30 years, I have been attending the worship service without fail. And I sent more than 200, 2,000 messages from the pulpit. But none of them comes to my mind. I am asking to you, how many messages you have heard this year? Not 30 years. Okay. And he said that some of the pastors, or preachers may preach long. All of them are wasted. That was the comment. Another person opposing the view of the other. And he wrote like this. I married 30 years back. My wife used to cook for, food for me and my family. Certainly, she had cooked more than 30,000 times within this period. And I took all of them. But I do not know what kind of dishes she served in each time. Anyone remember how many uh, varieties we got from our home? Anyway. But I know one thing. If she would not have served such foods, I was not able to live till today. So the food which enriched my body, mind and soul. Now I can say, all the foods were precious and had life-giving energy. That means all the messages which we were listening, everyone was life-giving, 
elements. Another man responded. He was a labor working in a coal mine. And he said that mining is very important, very dangerous and hard working job. Always we were facing death in front of us. It is a risky life, risky life and we have to work at least 10 hours a day. For us, Sunday is a holy day. All the workers are taking rest and drinking wine, making merry of their life, but I am going to church without taking such kind of rest. I am happy to take part in holy mass, messages, songs, and all kinds of fellowships. It gives a joy in my heart, renews my soul. It produces a life to overcome the challenges of next six days. But for others, it may feel boring. They will not get any peace or joy while attending the worship services. Here we listened two kinds of arguments in connection to the worship. Let us come back to the text which we selected. Sons of Korah were very lazy. They hesitated to attend the worship service because of various reasons. Anyway, their parents, I do not know how much they were insisting these children to go and attend the worship services. But God's wrath came upon their household. They understood that it is better to take a refuge, asylum, in the temple. Maybe that place is more safety. And they ended there. They have, they have seen the beautiful scenes. What they have seen? They have seen the sparrows. Very little one. Little, okay, in the birds family. They are very cheap and small one. They are the sons of Korah. They have seen that even the sparrow finds a home. I think they ended the, home, the, tent, the house of the tent. Maybe after running, they might have fallen down and they were looking. They have seen that sparrows, they are living in the tent with a happy and they were comfort. And they have seen that even the sparrow finds a home there. Small bird. In the Bible we can see the Matthew chapter 10 verses 29. There we see that yeah, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Maybe according to one rupee you can get uh, two sparrows. Two rupee you can get uh, five sparrows. Very cheap. So these creatures, birds, they are yes, living in the tents of the God. Very happily. They do not want to go outside. Someone is asking, Hello, Saru, how are you living here? They will definitely say the answer. Here I am safe. No one is disturbing me. God is allowing me to stay here. And I have made a home here. And I can, yes, get enough foodstuff from here. Whenever the devotees, they are bringing the grains. And it will be stored in the, the holy place. On the way, someone will fall down here or we will go and collect the grains and we will eat. So our daily, our existence, survival is here, here very safe. We are not worrying about not, nothing because God has given us shelter here and here we are living peacefully. 
yes it was a maybe a new idea or new thought maybe for us or children the ancestors they learned from this small birds they have seen another yes bird swallow and they are also finding a shelter in altar and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young of at the your altars or lord of host we know that uh, the altars always we see hundreds of sacrifices it will happen in the altar but the the group of swallows they used to living live in and around that uh, altar someone is asking oh swallows how you are finding a shelter here how you are surviving they may say that yes when the people they are coming for worship service or they are conducting the sacrifices the blood of the animals will fall down and the certain occasion the priests they themselves take that yeah blood and the pour nearby the altar after some time this blood will become thick it is called gore and we used to collect this gore and we are surviving it is the god's provision god is giving we are happy no one is deserving we are god's creation and god is giving a provision here and we are surviving great lessons this sons of kora has learned from sparrows and the swallows maybe the people okay they have observed these living creatures are finding asylum joy and happiness in the house of the lord but we people we were away and we never cared god's pro, uh, provision and god's presence was very meaning <coughs> anyway of the swallows or the sparrows they taught a lesson from them they, they learned yes these unwanted creatures or the priceless creatures they are serving god they are worshiping god and they are giving thanks to oh lord you are keeping us safe and sound you are providing our day to day needs so we are thankful yes what a marvelous sight these people have seen anyway later when we study the life of the kora's sons anyway their father fallen down in the gulf of the earth he died but these people later they repented and they understood that it is better to live in the house of the lord forever that's what psalms 84 then says that for a day a day in your court is better than a thousand elsewhere i would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my god than live in the tents of the wicked ones the people those who are not attending the sami says that they are in the group of the wickedness the people those who are attending or serving god they are very blessed ones my dear brothers and sisters yes you are attending the services you are coming in the churches yes you are called for a blessed ministry for god don't think that it is boring yes i am here by somebody's voice no you are here according to the will of god if god is providing sparrows and swallows how much god is ready to provide you in your needs god will not forget any sparrows in the world maybe if they are very yes very cheap according to the sight of the human beings 
but they are countable in the sight of God. We are very precious people. And we should worship our God. Yes, it is better to be in the presence of God always. It is quite good to notice the words mentioned in a diary of a person named Francis Havergal who lived in the 19th century. A European person, the diary of Francis came out after his death. He wrote about the necessity of attending church in a very cold season. He thought one Sunday that today is too much cold. No need to go to church. By thinking so, another thought came to his mind by counter-argument. He also wrote these ways. First point like this, God blessed the first day, Sunday, because our Lord Jesus Christ resurrected on that day. Whether it is hot or cold, a blessed day, I will attend. The second point he has written, if I am not going to the church, I am losing the blessings of prayer and fellowship. So the service, you will get the blessings and fellowship. And third one, he wrote, the, my presence is very valid in the day where people are gathering less than other days. Yes, in a small congregation, if you are assigned to attend, you should go there because your presence is very valid. The fourth point he has written, I will not avoid any other day which is very important to me, whether it is raining or not. So how can I avoid Sunday which is very important? Yes, we are attending our important days, important events without any fail. But sometimes we may take excuse in the Sunday. But he says that, Francis says that no, Yes, Sunday is also very important for me. The fifth point he has written, the difficult situation reveals my attachment with the Lord. So I, would, I should go such circumstances. Difficult situations may be very cold. Yes, very hot. Or you are not getting, may be vehicle. But you should take a decision. Yes, challenges are there. But I should go and attend the service. Sixth point, he has written, all my excuses for not attending the worship service will not be valid before God. If God is examining, okay, why you didn't come? You may say that, headache, body pain, little cold, but God is examining. You cannot stand before God. Seventh point, if there are three or four, yes, our Jesus promised that I will be there. So he thought that, yes, I must take this statement very serious. Eighth point is certain. It is the symptom of backsliding by presenting silly matters to avoid the fellowship. It is equal to follow Jesus very far. You see, it is equal to follow Jesus very far. You are following. Maybe there are people following. Not very close, very far in the name of following. Maybe we can see that people are coming in the, uh, yeah, our services very late or at the time of Amen, the last Amen, they are coming. Name, yes, he attended. He attended. Maybe last year one uh, student commented that, okay, yeah, yes, I was in the, in the veranda outside. Yes, he was there. Hmm? Last moment I reached there. So that means I attended. Friends, Yes, before the worship, in your future, at least five minutes earlier, be there. And yes, that will be a blessing for you and uh, your church. Last one, here, uh, uh, next point he has written, crisis reveals my desire to overcome it. If there is crisis, then take a decision. I will overcome it. I somehow over it. If there are opposed, okay, obstacles, then you should think that the obstacles are from the side of Satan. Last point he has written. I do not know how many Sundays are remaining for me to attend the churches. Maybe the next Sunday, 
whether we will be attending somewhere else no idea sometimes this is my last sunday who knows he francis has written he decided as anyway it is my duty to go and attend the church and he went friends the above stories and statements reveals as the need of worship our god with our heart our soul and our spirit let us encourage others to sounds to on 22 verse 1 says that i was glad when they said to me let us go to the house of the lord let us go to the house of the lord yes i was glad some others they told i was happy my brothers and sisters yes be happy always don't delay don't say any excuse attend regularly yes there will be a great reward for you and your generations definitely your generation will follow and they will observe that yes my papa and mummy they were going to the church regularly without any yes yes excuse definitely they will the next generation they will definitely follow otherwise they will also deviate from the will of god the westerners the western society they are struggling they are trying their devil best to bring the new generation into the fold of christianity because somewhere they lost the fellowship they lost the fellowship one day god will definitely ask the question where were you yes they are everyone should answer the question i have told you that our god who is most high but he delights to live with us god is ready to live in our heart and god is yes living in the midst of our praises if we open our our heart and our yes our minds along with that our mouth also then it will be more beautiful yes the people those who never attended today's service they never heard about the beautiful songs which sang by our dear ones they never enjoyed the fellowship which god has given in this evening there is a loss for them permanent maybe they may say that excuses yes i had a body pain i had no pain i had a headache maybe little uh, cold whatever may be yes our god is god yes like cola the repentant ones they sang and later their generation they became the singers of the most high let us take a decision yes i will not miss any service maximum i will attend maximum i will be there and i will enjoy the presence of god and i will yes get the blessings from god then our god will be yes happy let us go some lives great is lord we are not worthy what do you call us because of that we are enjoying this much privilege yes lord you selected us for your ministry lord help us to continue yes our life with you all the time in our lives bless us in jesus name we ask thank you Thank you, sir. <coughs> Wonderful message to share with us. Let us all raise up and affirm our faith by saying that he is in peace. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and God is in peace. 
We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one is being with the Father, through him all things are made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was in contact the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and he went to eat him. For our sake, he was crucified, and the Lord was Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in the heart He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Keeper of God, who proceeds among the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has the Holy Spirit. We believe in one Lord and the Apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, the Lord and the Church and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Now we will have a special song. The offering will be collected. Our money and resources 
We surrender our whole being to you in worship and adoration. Lord, may this offering extend the work of your kingdom in your church, in your community, and into the, the beautiful world which you have made. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To conclude this service uh, with the prayer, let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, as we have come to the close of the service, thank you for enabling us to hear your word and sing praises to your loving name. Thank you for accepting all our prayer and petition. As we depart from this place, may your guidance be with us, committing the rest of the night in your loving hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's stand together and pronounce the last prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forever and ever. Amen.